I will tell you what I know. Okay, the Inigo Prophecy. Somewhere out there in the world, there is a very nasty being gathering its strength. If left unchecked, it will grow until its evil influence burns away all that is good in this world. It has appeared in Langley's dreams for many years. Often as a gigantic figure striding through the land, leaving nothing but pain, anguish, and death in its wake. He calls it the Doom Strider. In the same dream, he sometimes sees a handsome blue Khajiit defeat the menace with his help. He calls this fellow the Champion. That is me, my friend. Much of Langley's prophecy is hazy, and he says that sometimes his dreams show more than one possible outcome. But now he and I have finally met, he believes we stand a good chance of preventing much suffering. What details can I help you with? They are called In Search of a Champion and Da Vinci's Journal. My father wrote the journal, and Langley wrote In Search of a Champion. Langley's books contain the story of his search for me, and a few tales about Fergus and I. The journal is my father's personal account of our upbringing. In my opinion, the books are informative and quite moving. Like all Khajiit, my physical characteristics were probably determined by the moons at my birth. I seem to be the product of a very rare celestial alignment that only occurs briefly, every few hundred years or so. In the backward village where I was born, a blue child was seen as a bad moon omen. I would have been sacrificed if my birth mother had not smuggled Fergus and I away. We were not identical, but we were twins. Perhaps his life was forfeit by association. Whatever the case, I like to think that my birth mother could not bear the idea of separating us. I can only guess that there was enough time between our births for the moons to shift. Langley thinks the alignment that produced me may only last for a few moments. I am incredibly unique, my friend. Not much, I'm afraid. Langley is the man to ask about that. All I know is that I am destined to fight whatever or whoever it is. I hope you will be at my side when the time comes, my friend. You are still busy? Remember to get me when you are done. Yes? I don't know. Can you? The Inigo Prophecy. Yes. What do you want to know? Oh dear, I don't have time for that. Inigo knows a fair bit, and you have those books I gave him, if you know how to read. You look fairly learned, but appearances can be deceptive. If you want someone to explain information to you that you already have written down, Ask Inigo. The truth is, I don't. But let's look at the evidence, shall we? On average, the accuracy of my visions is about 90%. That percentage goes up when the event I predict is closer in time and, or, the subjects of the event are known to me. The fact that Inigo and I have now met and had a chat suggests the chance the rest of my vision will come to pass has increased substantially. Do you follow? That would have been my prediction. I'm horrified by how little I actually know on the subject. I think it's a human, or at least I believe it walks in a human form. My dreams and visions are often metaphorical, so it's hard to discern exactly what it is, or the nature of the destruction it'll bring. There are two dreams. 
In both, I see a towering, dead-minded, red-eyed monstrosity walking the world, leaving sorrow, death, and despair in its wake. The very gods are powerless to intervene. In one vision, I see them watch in horror as Nern decays and rots. That one is a little better. It starts out in much the same way, but this time the champion is there to stop the Doomstrider. I see a baby blue Khajiit elude death before his first birthday. I see him grow into a great warrior. I see him and I talking in earnest, and I see the gods rejoice as he defeats the demon. That is unclear to me. Perhaps now Inigo and I are known to one another, my dreams will offer up a clearer picture. I'll be sure to keep him posted. Yes, I hope so. I'm inclined to believe that the images I see are not literal. The destruction I witness could be my mind's way of translating any great catastrophe. Perhaps the Doomstrider is an evil man who gains great power. Perhaps it's not a man at all. Maybe it represents famine, or disease, or even a wicked idea that infects every mind it touches. That said, considering Inigo is the champion, and his skill set revolves around killing, I think it is more likely that the Doomstrider has a corporeal form. I suppose. What can I tell you about them? Yes, I discovered my love of art in the Imperial City. Now I mainly use my talents to depict what I see in my dreams. I paint them as soon as I wake up. I find that locking a dream in place in the form of a picture often lends further insight. Cheerio.